Morgen, morgen. Hoe lijkt het mij niet hier ter gaat nu? Nee, ik heb maar van die begin af ik je als aangaan. We gaan het wel voor mij op Kalari Orix. Dank je, dank je, dank je. Marco, ik is Nicolai. Aangename kennis, leuk te kennen. Dit is ons Kirsten, welkom op Kalari Orix. Dank je. Bye, dank je. On the left here, swimming pool, and dining hall. Welcome to Africa Sportsman Show. We're standing here in the red Kalahari dirt. I'm standing here with Nikolai Robenheimer and Marco van Niekerk, who's uh, joining me on the hunt once again this week. Nikolai, if you can just uh, introduce yourself and just tell our viewers where exactly we're standing and what we'll be doing this week. Oh, certainly. Thank you for the opportunity, Stefan. It's an honor hosting you guys here on Kalahari Oryx. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's one of the gems left in South Africa at 86,000 hectares in one block. Yes. It's home to four of the big five. Remember, if we see a lion, stand still, don't run. <laughs> and uh, count yourself lucky. Uh, yeah, let's go out, be safe and enjoy it. And, uh, it's a free, free, free roaming area. Yes, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's one of the largest extensive properties in the country, left, yeah. left over in the country. Um, and like I said, it's a self-sustaining ecosystem um, where uh, you still have some of the smaller carnivores um, that are prosecuted in many other areas coexisting in a in a larger ecosystem, which is something very special. No, it's a, it's 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 one big honor to be here and and I mean to be able to fly in. Mm -hmm. You know, there was we had a nice flight this morning uh, from from Pretoria. Not that many bumps up in the air, and it's nice and cold. It's a bit windy. Uh, yeah. We just checked the rifle, so everything seems on track. So what's the plan? What are we, what are we looking for this week, Nicole? Well, firstly, we know you can't blame the rifle anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> From here very on true. out, it's on you. Yeah, very true. So, yeah, I think let's head out. Let's, let's hunt for opportunity. Um, with 35 huntable species, there's a lot to see. Um, let's go and look for the, for the right individuals. The Kalahari being home to massive herds of springbuck, oryx, um, and several other species, but I think let's focus on those Kalahari species yeah, yeah. to start off with and take it from there. Yeah, can't wait. Just spotted a nice oryx standing on the on the horizon, close about 200 yards away. I brought along my 65284 Norma, my trusted nozzle rifle, shooting a 140 grain Acubon nozzle trophy grade factory ammo. Um, Nikolai's got his, his double with him. Um, some baggage restrictions on the flight. I didn't bring my double along, so he's going to carry his double, and if the opportunity arises. I'm going to try and take an Oryx with a, with a double here in the Red Dunes. Otherwise, if it's too far, I have the, the 6.5 with me. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go and see if we can see that Oryx again.
Yeah, Stefan looks like it's given us the slip. Yeah. Let's just see if we can see it again. Here's the dirt of Springbuck. Looks like predominantly females. And I think let's let's head to that dune with that uh, that that shepherd's the second, tree. The second, yeah, the second yeah. dune. It's a it's a lone bull. I don't think it'll go that far. Yeah, especially in the windy conditions like this. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I think it's just in the bottom. When they're in a herd, conditions like this they keep going. Yes, yeah. But the lone animal tends yeah. to stop. Yeah, that's why that's why I thought early on let's let's leave these breeding groups of animals and yeah. focus on those old bulls. Yeah. Um, there's another. <laughs> There's another good reason um, why we're carrying the double. It's not only if we get a shot on the oryx. Remember, there's some, there's a pretty good number of lion and uh, and some others, other species of the big five here as well. So yeah, it's not only for not only for show and maybe it's, <laughs> it's yeah. a necessity. Let's hope we don't need it, but yeah. if we do need it, we have it. <laughs> Yeah, you can see where it rains, dear fun. Yeah, we'll take that direction and see. Yeah, that one's given us the slips, dear fun, but let's carry on looking, we'll find some more. It won't be the last one. No, definitely yeah, not. One. Definitely not. There's no way you can walk in the felt with this thing. <laughs> Boy, but uh, it's about 600 meters away, so I'm gonna give it a go. Yeah, it's that one with the with the wide horns. I thought it was a bull, Stefan. Apologies, but it's not a bull, eh? It's not every day you get the chance lying over a red Kalahari dune, checking out a bunch of oryx at 250, <laughs> and having a shot. Yeah, and no, yeah it's we, uh, we're not taking out breeding animals now. No. We're going for the old bulls. So. Yeah. Great opportunity, eh? At yeah. Two, at 250, I think we had a good chance. So. And I think it's an even better opportunity to be able to pass up on it. Yeah, as you can see, these females are heavily pregnant. Yeah. So, uh, that won't be sustainable. They're in quite good condition, eh? Yeah, yeah. They're perfectly adapted for these desert conditions. Beautiful, ah, this, beautiful animal. This is, this is their terrain. It's an icon of the Kalahari. Yeah. Very pretty animals. Yeah. What opportunity. Thanks, <laughs> man. Perfect setup. Yep, well, that's how it goes. Von der Schuhe ist gut von. Traveling on this on this road in between two dunes in Afrikaans, we call it a straat, a street. I don't know if there's an English name for it, 
in the street here and we saw these lion tracks. There's your hind foot. You see that's the slender longer one. Um, that size already tells us that this is probably a male. Um, but if you look at the front foot, you'll see, you can see this is the, the one carrying the mass of the animal, just the way the toes are splayed open. But that box in front there, that shows us it's a male. Okay. On a female, that's round. Okay. tell you 100% that it's a bull, Stefan. That one on the right looks like a bull. You see the bull on the right, eh? He's facing away from us? Yeah. Wait for the shot. It's about 2.50, eh? Yeah. And we look until we find the right one. <laughs> yes. We were at 2.50 and he was facing <laughs> right away from us, looking back. But Stefan, you know, I think that's, that's part <laughs> of the hunt, is knowing when, when to take a shot and when not to take a no, shot. No, for sure, you yeah. know, and, and, and in the Kalahari, I mean, um, you know, we, we grew up not far from here, and uh, you know, it's always a challenge hunting these animals, you know, even even doing it with a vehicle is a challenge, but, yeah. but trying to stop a couple of hundred meters away and try and uh, catch them on foot, it's a different story, but it's a hell of experience. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I think let's try again. They didn't run very hard, Stefan. I know. Just to this region. I know the wind's not, the wind's not in our favour. But they're but coming. They're coming into the wind a little bit. So let's try. Only unfortunate thing is they know we're here, so yeah. they're going to be wary. Let's try. Him. Your range is 320 where they're now. I'm going to range you that big shepherd's tree. It's 270. They're on 270 now. You want to support? Get ranges between 650 and 680. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's a bull in there. Uh, that one far left, um, yeah, you can see it, it's facing to the left. Is that a bull? It looks like a bull to me, yeah. Up to what magnification is your scope? 25. Do you see a puzzle there? I think no other word other than lacquer would describe that. Yeah, I know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful animals in this group. Must be a bull in here, man. Not every day where you uh, 
stalker oryx and you step in a pile of rhino dung. That, yeah. does, that doesn't happen very often. Was done it, was done it. I can have your range. Three thirty. Three thirty two. Got shot. Yeah, uh, Stefan, I think it looks a little bit low. It looked like the shot was a little bit low. We're on 400. Do you want a shoulder? Yeah, please. Stefan, uh, he definitely hit it. The shot yeah. looked a little bit low, like a, a brisket shot. You had a clear thumb, but there yes, yeah, uh, he didn't lay down on the spot. But let's go and have a look, I, but I think we might have to give it another one. Great, perfect shot. Let's just give it a moment to die. Congratulations. Yeah, yes, it took us a while, but um, yeah, we'll see now. The, um, the entry wound is on the other side, so but he, he did go down, go down eventually. Yeah, you can see some blood yeah, on the brisket. It. Yeah, yeah. And the left front leg was a little, you know, it was limping a bit. So, but yeah, it will be interesting if we flip it over to see where the where the entry wound is. We could see the blood on the brisket, but yeah, nevertheless, seems back down. Yeah, congratulations. Nikolai. Persistence Thanks. paid Thanks off. We've had a couple of, couple of goes at it today, unsuccessful tries and uh, persistence paid off. Yeah, Congratulations. We got, we got this lone bull that uh, we spotted him uh, at about 400 and so paces and he, yeah. and he stopped behind a, a nice, I can't remember, it was the Matopi or Swartak, but he stopped and uh, presented a shot. It wasn't a perfect shot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but yeah, in this wind and on uh, on the sticks, I'll take it. I'll take that one. And, you can uh, take that one any day. I'll uh, I'll, I'll face the fines committee tonight <laughs> around the Camelthorn fire. Nikolai, nevertheless, thank you so much. You're more than welcome. What Stefan. a great bull, and uh, I mean, what a place to run. Yeah, thank you so much. All round experience. Oh, uh, for sure. For Good sure. job. Spring back that, let's go and give it a go. Okay, Take him when you're ready. <laughs> Still going, but it looks like a decent shot.
Congratulations, Stefan. Two iconic Kalahari species yeah, in one afternoon. Thanks so much. Beautiful animal. Good shooting. Thank you. Well, Nikolai, uh, as the pronk is going down, yes, see, what an afternoon. Uh, we were struggling this morning. The wind is still pumping, but we surprised these two rams, and um, you know, usually they just take off. Yeah. But I think this time of the afternoon, you know, all the animals as well, they're cutful, <laughs> running, running for the wind. So um, they just stopped and they gave us a chance. I think the range was at 200 meters. Yeah, not even. Then on the shoulder, I'm a little bit back, um, try and save a little bit of meat, and I think the shot went. Went off well and it worked out perfectly. He ran a couple of meters and he was down. Yeah, yeah, no, we capitalized on the opportunity. Very, very well done. Yeah, and sure. uh, yeah, we've been working the open areas this afternoon. And as soon as we got into this black hook thorn, you could see that the game were around. So. Yeah, no, for sure. Yes, but what Great. a nice old Kalahari ram. Eh? Beautiful shape, nice and thick horns, and what a body. Eh? Big yeah, body. Massive big body animal, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Nikolai. Congratulations. Now we're going to have that sundown. <laughs> Let's go and have it. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you gentlemen all formally to Kalari Oryx. It's a pleasure having all of you together and uh, I hope tomorrow is just as a good day as we had today. Mm. Cheers. Thanks very much. Cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. Cheers, Cheers. 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 Well, good morning uh, on day two of our expedition here to the Kalahari. Nikolai, I've hunted the Kalahari a few times in my life, but I've never experienced it like this. It's <laughs> flippin' cold. Me and Marco is, uh, is uh, chatting on the back of the vehicle. I mean, it's, it's something in Africa we, we yeah. uh, experience very seldom. But we just want to, the reason why we stopped here is we're close to the border on this side of the property, eh? am I right? Yes, yeah. Correct. And uh, we, we chatted about this call it a copy or whatever um, when we when we hunted our oryx yesterday is about 50 kilometers from here am yes, I right? yes and if you look that way you can't see it on the camera but if you look that way that mountain range there at the back that's the other border of this property and uh, you know even for us in South Africa it, 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 it's mind-boggling the size of this eh? yeah yeah it's a it's a it's a vast expense a property yes um, like you said the Grana mountains run through the Grana mountain range runs through the through the property and and uh, those mountains in the back in a straight line from here it's about 45 kilometers um, yes. yeah, forms yeah. A, and we hunted close to yesterday that's, that's where we yeah yeah at the foot of those mountains is where we shot your oryx yesterday yeah. exactly. and, and I know we say it over and over again you know but but to, to be in an ecosystem like this where the self-sustaining lion and yeah. rhino and buffalo yeah. and I yeah. mean it's just it, like I said it's mind-boggling to see yeah it's a it's a it's a larger you're looking at a larger picture um, it's it's a it's a puzzle consisting of many many little pieces yeah. um, and this is one of the few few properties or wilderness areas left in South Africa where you can actually see the whole puzzle coming yeah. together yeah self-sustaining yeah listen it's gonna be a tough day uh, luckily we got we got uh, yesterday we got 
you know, half and half what we came for. To, yes. You know, you come to the Kalari to, to hunt a Springbok and a, and a Oryx or a Gemsbok. So uh, today we're gonna we're gonna drive around and we're gonna try again. But I think it's gonna be very tough in this wind and and with the yeah. temperatures. Yeah. I think the animals is gonna be very weary. Yeah, you'll see. Um, I think we'll work the topography a little bit and try and use it to our advantage. Um, in the pockets where it's out of the wind, I think we're gonna see some yeah. some game trying to get out of the elements. Um, so let's. Let's let's work it and see what we find. Yeah, uh, we're in the wouldn't swap it for anything in the world right now. Yeah, <laughs> Stefan, I, I don't think uh, this is what we signed up for today, but uh, yeah. It's well, I mean, what experience, Nikolai, <laughs> to be able to to stand in the Kalahari. I don't know if this is uh, it's not snow, but I mean it's flipping close to that. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's now, like so. a. Like a sleet. Yeah, no, it, it, it's amazing to experience it. <laughs> Not ideal hunting conditions, but uh, yeah, still, still a, a great morning. Yeah, with great friends and uh, it is what we make of it. No, for yeah. Sure. So, uh, uh, what's the plan? I mean, are we gonna are we gonna continue and maybe look for something, or uh, what's 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 the plan for the rest of the morning? Uh, my plan for the morning was to look for a zebra, and. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what 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 it turns out to be, yeah. um, what the weather allows us to do. <laughs> this is going to be a memorable <laughs> one. Let me tell you that. So Stefan, uh, this is something pretty interesting, this is a black rhino midden um, and uh, you can have a look, you can dig out any twig in here, they're all bitten off at 45 degrees like that, it's a little black hook thorn twig. And if you take into account, we're on top of a mountain, you think that that big animal won't won't come and walk up here, and uh, just goes to show they utilize all the available terrain. Yes, they yes. inhabit that. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, I'd like to bid you farewell. Congratulations on a successful trip. We really enjoyed hosting you guys here on Kalari Oryx, and we hope to see you again in the near future. Yeah, listen, this was a fantastic experience. Uh, to be honest, you've spoiled it a bit for me with 80,000 hectares, 50,000 open camp, 
It was unbelievable. I mean, the vistas, the experience was outstanding. Uh, you'll definitely see me coming back. That's yeah, good no, news. for sure. And, and just to add to that, Marco, the, the experience we had yesterday with that extreme weather, I mean, you don't see snow in the Galari <laughs> very often. No. <laughs> uh, uh, it was a wonderful day and, and we got exactly, you know, what we came here for. Yeah. We got a decent, nice Galari Springbok ram and we got a nice big uh, yeah. a Gemsbok bull. And from, from, from my side as well, definitely not the last time. You're going to see me and our good friend behind the camera, Martin mm. Miller from African Sun Productions. Mm. Job well done mm. once again. Thanks, guys, and uh, see you soon. Travel safety. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.